like them. Their states are in the vanguard when it comes to testing every kid. In 2014, our office, the Manhattan DA's office, announced what was then an unprecedented three-year, $38 million national investment to address this intergenerational injustice. Using dollars that we had seized in our prosecutions against major banks, we invested those three, $38 million in 32 jurisdictions and 20 states, and then we asked Congress to match our investment. Now, at the time, estimates suggested that there were hundreds of thousands of untested rape kits collecting dust in police storage facilities all over the cross the country. And that represented hundreds of thousands of broken promisers, promises to survivors of sexual assault. We tested 55,000 rape kits across 20 states with our investment. And of those kits we tested, more than 18,000 newly developed DNA profiles were extracted from biological evidence and uploaded into the FBI's combined DNA index system, which is called CODA. Now, to date, and there will be more solutions of crimes and there will be more prosecutions, but to date, that investment has already yielded 186 new arrests, 64 convictions, including 47 sexual assault convictions. And as I said, that's only today. What happened with the failure to test, rape, to test backlog rape kits around the country was an absolute travesty of justice. It was a travesty of justice that was focused principally on women survivors as the, you know, the victims of two offenses, one, the sexual assault, and then second, to have their case ignored by the very people who they turned to to help find the attacker. And so this was a national problem, a national issue, beyond just being a local issue that would have national links. Having my kit finally tested was a catalyst for hope and a change not only for myself, but for my fellow survivors and for all those who are impacted by sexual assault. They say, oh, it happened a long time ago, 1996, 20 something years ago. My finger hurts every day. I have a wire in my finger. I'm still petrified. I'm wondering when I'm gonna get the, uh, when I'm gonna get told that I need to get it amputated. I was in total shock. I had lost all hope in ever getting justice. I was overwhelmed with relief to hear this news after 16 years. I will finally get justice and closure.